Hey there, worldwide webbing peeps, and welcome to my Let's Play Ark series. Today we're on the island, and I would like to attempt to explain a new group whistling, which is something we've all been waiting for for a very, very, very long time. Now, I was excited to see in the update notes um, that group whistling was going to be a thing, um, but I do have to say, Ark, Ark devs, you know, tutorials wouldn't go amiss, because, you know, old people like me take a little bit longer to work out what the heck is going on. Um, but I've had a, f had a fiddle around, I've come right at the end of my um, compound, of my base, because, um, well, just because uh, where I've been fiddling around with the group whistling, I've had to park all those dinos over there so many times because I got it wrong. Um, but hopefully we are out of distance uh, to affect them. So in my head I've got this straight. I myself know what I'm doing. If I can explain it, it'd be great. I'm not entirely confident that I can. So we're going to experiment using um, my dodos because I, I'm not too bothered if anything happens to them and Greta over there and, and be the beaver. Okay so you walk up to a dino and you press and hold E and on the wheel you will see that there are two new um, tabs, if you want to call these tabs. Change to ignore group whistles and modify ordering groups. Uh, this is the one we're going to deal with first, so let's go into that. We get a new wheel. So I want to add all of the dodos to one group. Um, just for the purpose of this video I'm going to add them to number 10. So just go ahead and left click that. Now it didn't appear to do anything, so if you just want to double check that that actually did something, go back, modify ordering groups, and now you will see that this is yellow, um, which indicates that we were successful in adding the dodos to the group. Now if you go into your inventory, you'll see there is a new tab here, Tame Order Groups. Go ahead and click that. Down here on group 10, we highlight it, we can now see that the group class um, covers dodos. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this group dodo. Now the bit that confused me was the number pad um, way of controlling your groups. Um, because group 10, uh, there is no 10 on your number pad, um, it's actually zero. So if I go ahead and press zero, down the bottom part of the screen you'll see Tame Ordering Group Dodo. So now they're listening to me. So if I was to go ahead and hit J, hopefully, only the dodos will follow. Success! B and Greta have totally ignored me. And I can just Ooh, X. I can just go ahead and move around with the dodos. The same goes for unfollowing. Go ahead and press U, and the dodos stop. Now the thing that I found the most confusing was how to disengage the dodos from listening to me and making everybody listen to me. If you go ahead and press zero again, you'll see that it's changed slightly down the bottom and it now says none as the group. So if I go ahead and press J, everybody follows me. go and press U and everybody stops. So that's one way of controlling your groups via the number pad. I'm just going to go ahead and park these again in an orderly fashion. Another way to control your groups is to use the uh, Tame Order Groups tab. If you're not sure which group you have active and believe me, you will forget at some point and end up whistling the wrong ones. If you come into, back into your Tame Order Groups tab, um, you can see here that the current active group is actually the Dodos. So if you go ahead <coughs> and click that, double check, you can see there just the Dodos are affected at the moment. So I don't actually want the Dodos active, so you can go ahead and clear active group. You can see that change to no group. That means that 
nobody in particular is listening, but at the same time, everybody is listening, if that makes sense. It makes sense in my brain. So if I was to go ahead and um, want, if I wanted all of these to be passive, I could go ahead and whistle all passive. If we go up to the dodos, you can see that they are passive, passive, passive. The beaver is passive, as is Greta. But what if you wanted another species on passive with the dodos, but there was only one of them, like Greta? It doesn't have its own group. It would be a bit pointless to waste one of the 1 to 10 uh, group settings on a single species. Uh, so what you can do is you can add Greta, if I can get, there we go, to the dodo class. So here we have add tame to group dodo. So we go ahead and click that. So now Greta, if we go back into our inventory, should be listed as a group tame. So although she's not a dodo, she will listen when I group the dodo whistles. Let's go ahead and make sure that dodos are concentrating. So go ahead and whisk just there. I can't get the words out today. Okay, so she's on neutral at the minute and the dodos are on passive. So if I go ahead and whistle neutral. Dodo's neutral. Greta neutral. Whistle passive. Greta is passive. B is neutral. Dodo's are passive. So hopefully I've explained that part of things. Let's go ahead and remove Greta. So remove Tame from Group Dodo. So what else does Group Whistling enable us to do? Well, I don't know about you guys, but parking small dinos without saddles can be a right royal pain in the jacksie. Um, that you have to, you know, walk backwards, walk like this, and try and get their attention, things like that, walk up to them, press T, you follow me, you follow me. You've Obviously now we can just call all of the dodos. Let's go ahead and make sure that they're the active group, current active group dodos. Uh, click on it, make sure that Greta's not involved, and she isn't, because we just removed her from the um, group. So to get something to move, you press comma, and they should move to wherever you're looking. Press comma over there. And I actually want to park them there. This is going to make life so much easier, folks. So much easier. Sometimes there's a special member of a particular group that you don't want to listen to what you're telling the rest. Uh, for whatever reason, um, I don't know, say um, say Ego was my favourite dodo and I didn't want to risk losing it in a battle or something like that, but I wanted the rest to attack a target. Um, how would I go about that? Because obviously Ego is a dodo and was it is within the dodo group. That brings me back to change to ignore group whistles tab. Which we go ahead and do that. We have the option to put it back into the group by change to heed group whistles. So now, when we call the rest of the dodos, like so, Ego should totally ignore us, which it does. Marvellous. I love it when a plan comes together. Let's bring these guys back. And then another time, we might want Ego to listen. Let's go ahead and unfollow you guys. So all we do is we go back into the wheel and we change so that it heeds the group whistles. So again, get them all to follow us. Ego should now join in as well. Bring them back. Okay, so hopefully I've helped clear up a bit of the confusion surrounding the group whistles. And uh, yeah, job done. Oh, would you look at the time. 
Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And if you like the video or you just want to make me happy, keep my kids quiet, then go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. It means the world to me. And if you're new, haven't already, why not subscribe? Until the next time, goodbye now.